So we have to go back to like 2001. Um, I was experimenting a lot with astral projection and lucid dreaming at the time. And I had this lucid dream that my girlfriend uh, at the time and I were flying around Southern Illinois. And then we crossed the Ohio River, which at the time I didn't even consider like we're crossing the Ohio River. Like we're just flying, you know? And uh, we land on the other side of the river. Again, geographically, this was not like in my processing. So we land in what I can only assume would have been Kentucky. And we land in front of this really nice house in this small town that's like fairly dilapidated. Like it's nothing there. And uh, this house really stuck out to me. I remember it, I can still see like the dream version of it. So we land in front of this house and we walk up to the riverbank because the house is right on the river. And there's all these dead garfish on the bank of the river. And then I woke up. So two years later, 2003, 2004, me and a couple of my buddies decided to go hiking for the day in Southern Illinois. They had never been, so I was kind of like the de facto guide for the whole day. And I took them to all the spots that I knew and we weren't ready to come home yet. So trying to think what's one more thing that we can do, you know, while we're here. So we double back and we take the ferry at Cave In Rock, uh, which, is right at the Ohio River, cross over, drive a little ways, and we find Smithland, Kentucky. And we just take a random road, and we park the car, and we get out, and I look to my left, and there is the same house that I had the dream about. The exact same house, right on the river, and immediately I'm like, I remember this dream, and I'm like, well, this is really, really weird. I had never been here before. Um, so we get out, and we walk up to the riverbank, and my friend Paul is just a little ways ahead of me. And he says, hey guys, come here, look at this. And we get up there and there's all these dead garfish on the bank. And I'm like, oh, this is just nuts. I had never had anything like this happen before, ever. Uh, I started watching Hellier. I watched the whole thing and they're talking about the book at Adorba. I thought it was interesting. You know, the, the illustrations are awesome and they use a lot of them in Hellier season two. I decide I'm gonna start reading this book and I found it online. It was, you know, it was like a chapter or two in and there's a map and it's like all these like areas, you know, around where the I Am The Man goes in Kentucky on his way to the cave. And number two, Number two on this map is Smithland, Kentucky. And I thought, oh, Jesus. Like, I <laughs> am flooded with all this, like, you know, wow, this is crazy. Absolutely nuts. So, so I'm listening to Penny Royal the second time through. I didn't notice it the first time. In the last episode, you mentioned Alistair Crowley visited his family in Livingston, Kentucky, or Livingston County, Kentucky. And then I was like, what the hell? Like, Livingston County is Smith. I mean, there's a couple of other little, like, villages or hamlets or whatever, but there's nothing there. There's no major point of interest, really, like, from a mundane physical life standpoint, anyhow. I'm going to be talking to Nathan and Darian for my show. I'm going to ask them about it. It's, yeah, I mean, it's, <laughs> that's the thing I didn't connect with, you know, like, when we were talking about it. You said Smithland. You know, all I knew was Livingston you know, County, Kentucky. Right, but I didn't know Smithland was in Livingston County. Yeah, yeah. So you pulled it out to me, and like, holy shit. And then you and I started pulling up the maps and everything, and there isn't anything in that county except for Smithland. And really, there's only a few buildings. Like, yeah. If you came to Livingston County in 1904, any of the years that you could have been here, that Alistair probably could visit his family, that's it. He would have had to go to Smithland. And, and the only thing that was there... Yeah, that's something else I didn't even point out is, like, there's the house in Smithland that I had the dream about that I found in real life by happenstance. And there's another building just to the south of that. And then on the south side of that building, on the opposite corner of the house, is an old Freemasons Hall. And it was also used for a bunch of other stuff. Like in the Civil War, they used it for supplies and stuff uh, for the Union Army. Because you have the Ohio River just to the north and just to the east, the Cumberland River starts right off of the Ohio River at Smithland. 
So it was pivotal to move supplies, you know, back and forth and, and all kinds of other stuff. So it was definitely important during that time. Then it became a church, um, and then it would eventually, like, it's just an empty historical building now. I mean, it's it's protected. It's not going to be torn down or anything, but... And so, th so that's an interesting thing, too, because for, for Crowley, at that time, he was traveling around the U.S., 